Okay guys, so today video I'm going to uh, solve some tactics, I want to help you guys improve in chess and I'm going to show you some puzzles and how I solve that, okay, so let's begin. So in the first puzzle, as you see, we got the queen and the rook and we are taking the queen which is undefended, okay, so if for example uh, the rook was on a different file and only those queens are facing each other, then the king can just take, but because we are supported by the, by, uh, by the rook, we are going to take this king with the checkmate. Okay, um, as you see now, uh, the queen is attacking the king with the check, but we are also supporting this square. So the moment that we are going to take, it's going to be checkmate and the king of course can attack back because this queen is supported by our king. So let's take. Okay, <clears throat> so now as you see, um, similar idea, this rook is basically only defended by the queen, by the king, sorry, and once you're defending it twice uh, with the rook, with your, your uh, double rooks, and basically you're going to take with a checkmate, okay? So the king cannot escape from this file because your rooks are also covering up those files. So we can go for this checkmate immediately. Okay, <clears throat> of course, uh, now we got an attack, uh, rook d8. As you see, the checkmate is inevitable because uh, the rook left um, the in the file the the last rank, and also the bishop is basically not on this diagonal in order to not on the correct di diagonal in order to try to delay or stop the mate. So check, and as you see, the king, king cannot escape. Okay, so back rank mate, uh, easy position, easy idea. You cannot really stop it. So let's go for the mate. Okay, this is also checkmate because this rook is supported by the knight and as you see, of course, again, the king cannot escape because this rook is also cutting off uh, this file completely. Now, let me give you a small advi advice. Sometimes uh, during the games you might be afraid to lose this knight, so you just try to move it back, but always try to find uh, the top move. Sometimes you got something better like a checkmate. Okay, so let's carry on. As you see, we have a very strong diagonal, bishop and queen, so we go for the mate. Okay, we have a very strong check, uh, which is also a mate, sorry, which is also a mate, because basically we are cutting off his uh, king completely, and we are supported by the bishop. Okay, <clears throat> so as you see, we have uh, this mate, because this bishop is cutting off his, this diagonal completely. And as you see, even though it seems like it's scary because it's going to uh, make a new queen, it's actually not because we found the mate. Okay, this is also a mate, queen and knight supported. Let's take. Uh, same idea, and as you see, this time the king cannot really escape from, uh, from f2 because this knight is also guarding this important square, so let's go for the mate. Okay, what do we got here? So basically it seems like... Hmm, let's see... I guess we got a check, he can take, I can take, he can take, I can give a check. Oh sorry, we got a double attack, so we got basically a rook and the queen, so yeah, we're going to play with the check and we're going to win the rook. Okay, so takes, we're going to take with the queen. Sorry, I missed that, it was a double. Okay. What else do we got? Seems like uh, we're trying to attack the king. So let's see the understand the position. If I'm going to push and he's going to take, I can play for a check. Sorry, I can play for a check with rook a8. He's going to move back and then we can try to go for a mate. Okay, so we are on a very strong position. In case that he's going to maybe uh, attack his king on a1, we need a solution. So, what can we do in this type of position? Basically, rook a1. This is a bit more challenging. So, sorry, so we are pushing on a2. He can put his king on a1. Uh, what is the continuation? Oh, okay, so I see it. So, basically, you can play uh, queen a3 with the following checkmate of queen b2. Now, in those type of position, if you're going for a check, is move back and then you play for uh, rook a3. Sometimes in order to stop checkmate you will see uh, moves like queen takes on uh, c3 and then you're going to win the exchange. So one, two and three. Okay, so basically that's the idea. Uh, also guys, if I can give you a tip, if you want to improve in chess and 
your plane by intuition and basically the, this move uh, feels good so you just go for that and if I can give you a good tip is that to calculate the moves okay so even though for example you, you want to play for a certain move or a certain move order try to do as, as I mentioned try to calculate those uh, um, particular moves even though if you need to I don't know um, think for your opponent or try to understand what what can you do how can you react and what are the stages of the of those moves that uh, you want to play and basically just try to prove yourself that this move is really worth it that you can prove it by um, by playing by um, showing yourself on the board that this move is really strong so let's carry on now you see that uh, this pawn is about to go for a minute so intentionally we want to play for a king f7 basically just stop the mate so this is an obvious move this is the only move in the position before doing that let's see what other moves do we got okay so let's say we play for a queen f7 this is still not enough because you can try to then put uh, the king on h6 and the moment that the, this king reached to h7 then you can support the the pawn and promote the queen so if queen f7, I guess you will try to play for queen h6 and then I can tuck the king on uh, g8 and this king alone cannot really move his king. After that, you see that we got two fast pawn against one. So then we can play for a4 and then b3. So in case he's going to take, I can try to promote. In case he's going to push, I can promote. So as you see, this is a very strong, but you don't want to just go for that. So first of all, king f7. And of course, you cannot, you still cannot go for this idea because uh, after the king is going to reach h7, is going to promote, and you're going to be in a very, very losing position, which is going to uh, lose you the game. So let's let's think about the king safety. And now, uh, basically, a4. We want to play for a b3 next. Now notice, playing a3. I guess it's fine because then. Um, you can still push takes and you can promote but as you see it's very slow and you don't want to get checkmated so you need to be quick b3 is the quickest now of course we need to consider again do you want to just push or do you want to sorry do you want to take and then push or you want to promote so it seems like taking with the pawn is going to be stronger because as you see we are about to promote with a check and pushing on a3 on then a2 and a1 it seems like we are going to lose the tempo, so it's really important to, to take. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the following puzzles a bit faster this time, okay? So as you see, we are in, a, seems, seems like it's going to be a checkmate position, so we got a check. Basically, the only legal move for the king is going to be b2, and then we can take the knight and basically try to uh, find another move. So what else do we got? We can play queen c2. He cannot really move to b4 because of this pawn. Also, c4 is not av available because of this bishop. Um, he can play queen c, uh, sorry, queen a3. Or yeah, okay. So basically, after a check, queen a3 is going to be the next move. Then we can give a check and take this rook. Uh, yeah, seems like it's good. Let's try to make sure that we are not. We don't really have anything else. No. So basically, take. Okay, so we take and take the rook. Let's continue. So um, let's see. Basically, we got check, a move mate. Okay, so this is check and this is mate. Okay. Um, okay, so this is mate because you cannot take this bishop because of this queen, and also you cannot take this bishop because of this queen. So you don't want to take with this queen. Sorry for the noise. You don't want to take with the queen because then you can just take you back. You want to take with the bishop and win the game. Um, what else do we got, guys? Okay, so check. Okay, and now basically uh, rook takes on h6 seems like a very strong move. With the idea of to go for a checkmate. Do we got something else? No, I don't really see it. So, of course, here taking with the queen is not going to be smart. You're going to lose a pawn, uh, the, the rook, sorry. And then you cannot really go for a checkmate. You want to take with the rook. And go for a mate. Okay, this is checkmate, of course. We are cutting off this king completely, as you see. 
Of course, if you want to try to stop the video and try to find the checkmate for yourself, go for that, of course. Uh, we're going to do a few more. Okay, so check from the rook. Of course, as you see, blocking is not going to work because then it's going to take. So it seems like the only position is to, to play a king a e8. Still, we want to calculate to make sure that we are not blundering. So you can give us another check. Uh, of course, we still cannot block with the rook because then it can just take. But another check, we can basically de basically then go um, king d8 and we can try to play for a checkmate. So this is completely safe. Okay, and again, don't block. You're going to lose uh, material. And now we can take. Okay, what else do we got? We got this check and then it can move <coughs> to king f2. And what can we do next? So, yeah, what else do we got? So, check, it can move away. Then we can maybe give another check. Uh, it can push again. And then we can try to even win his queen because we're going to pin it to the king. So, this is actually seems like a very interesting idea. Um, yeah, so, rook f4. Okay, and now as you see, we're going to pin the queen uh, to the rook. Okay, still let's see that maybe we got something else. So let, let's say we're going to take, take, check, you can block or check. No, it doesn't seem like we got something else. So even though it, can, it seems like he's going to win the rook, he cannot really move his queen because it's pinned. So yeah, let's pin the queen. Okay, what else do we got? Um, okay, so basically as you see, both queens are hanging, so if I'm going to take the bishop, he can take the knight, seems like it's going to be equal, uh, if I'm going to take the queen, then he's going to take my queen, but then I, I can take its knight, he can take with the pawn, and I can take the bishop, so we're going to be up material, okay, so let's take, and of course don't take the bishop, take the knight with a check, take the bishop, win the game, okay, so let's do a few more. And now as you see, it seems like we are playing for a checkmate, so basically check with the rook. Uh, king g2 is the only move, and this is going to be mate, supported the rook, and cut enough his queen completely. In those type of, of uh, position, uh, be careful because as you see, the queen is guarding h2, so you don't want to put your rook on h2, because then you're just going to blunder those pieces, and exchange the, them for nothing. Try to take one more moment and play for the win. Okay? Now, as you see, we are going to checkmate the king. Uh, playing uh, rook b1 is a mistake in this position because then he can escape uh, king h2. So we actually want to play king g3, uh, just stopping any escape by the king. He cannot play uh, h2. And if he's going to play king g1, we can just go for the mate. So in those kinds of position, uh, mostly, mostly we're going to see uh, after uh, king g3, you're going to see uh, rook e7, sorry, rook e7, rook d7, uh, rook c7. Basically, after you're going to give a check with the rook, he's going to try to delay you and just uh, move his rook back, but then you're going to take with mate, so you will see it next. Okay, so rook e7, check, and as you see, the king has no legal squares. You take the rook, you play for a mate. Okay, so as you understand, I did practice those lines a lot. Uh, now we are playing also for a checkmate. As you see, f1 is supported both by this rook and by this bishop. And uh, the truth is that we don't really need our queen in order to go for the mate. The rook and the bishop will do. So after a check, you cannot take with the king, you can only take with the rook. Then it's important to take with your rook. And as you see, we are cutting off his king completely. So in those type of position, you want to actually... Um, um, I sacrifice the queen, sorry. Okay, so let's carry on. Let's do uh, five more. Okay, and also if, if you can, if you guys can uh, comment on this video and tell me what you think, if you want me to do some more videos like it, please let me know. Okay, so let's continue. So now the first thing that I see before doing anything, we just want to absorb a little, is that we can take the queen, he can take with the bishop, we can play check with the rook, is going to move, uh, it doesn't really matter where, and then we can take his bishop as well. So basically we're going to take a queen and a bishop for a queen. So this is winning. 
but before committing let's just check even for one moment if you got something stronger okay because as you see his king is wide open uh, basically we can also play for a check with the rook and the king will move regardless uh, wherever it likes and then we can take his queen with our rook and this is actually stronger, stronger because we're going to be up material and we are not going to uh, um, to exchange our queens. So basically, this this is going to be completely winning. Last thing that we got is maybe maybe a check. Then, as you see, the his king doesn't really have a lot of space. He can try to play for a queen e1, but after that, I don't really see any continuation. So basically. We want to give a check supported by the bishop. Basically, it's a very nice fall between the king and the queen. Okay, as you see, decided to take. Of course, we take. And yeah, let's find the move. Okay, so basically, as you see, bishop, bishop G, uh, is uh, covering g8. We cannot put the, the king on e7. Moving the bishop back is going to be a mistake. <laughs> Blocking with the queen is going to be a mistake even more. So... Uh, as you see, um, this was the only move. Okay, now as you see, a very fun puzzle. If you want to even stop, pause the video for a moment, go for this. It's an easy one, uh, but take your time. So as you see, uh, basically we are trying to play for a checkmate, uh, queen and knight. But the one piece that is uh, stopping us from doing, the, from doing that is the knight on f6. Uh, how can we try to maybe attack the knight on f6? We can take with knight with our knight that is on d5. Now taking the knight, which is extremely important, is going to be with the check. So regardless if he's going to take with his bishop or with the pawn, the next move is going to be queen h7, and this is going to be checkmate. So sometimes if you want to go for a checkmate and there, there is a piece that is defending. Sometimes you can try to attack this piece in order to go for a checkmate. Even if, for example, you're going to sacrifice a rook for a knight or whatever, uh, try to understand which piece is, is stopping you from going for, for the mate. One more thing that I want to say is this is completely forcing because basically it's reacting to, to a check. So if it's going to take with the knight or the, or the bishop, you don't really care with the pawn or, or the bishop because you're going to play for a checkmate. So this is one and this is two. Okay. Let's continue guys, so <clears throat> what do we got here? So uh, I see that the queens are uh, attacking each other. Uh, if I'm going to take the queen with my queen, if he's going to take with his bishop, I can take this rook, he can take mine, and then I can take with the rook with the check, and basically I'm going to be a rook against a bishop and a knight, so this is going to be winning, so this is one. Other idea is that I can take the queen, but he can take with the pawn. So then, as you see, taking the bishop, we are going to lose uh, all of our advantage. So taking the queen, I'm not really sure it's a very good idea. What else do we got? Uh, let's say we're going to take this bishop with the rook. Okay, so if he's going to take my queen, um, I can take with the knight, you can take with the rook. Yeah, doesn't seem like it's also a good idea. Uh, what else do we got? Hmm, this is a bit uh, a bit more interesting. Okay, we also got this check, uh, knight g6. Okay, if he's going to take with the queen, again, we are going to lose materials, so it's not an option. Um, taking this bishop with the rook, you can take my queen, I can take, and then I'm going to lose my rook. Uh, takes, 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 takes. Okay, so this is also a bad idea. Uh, checks are not really working in this kind of position. Hmm. Okay, not not such a simple puzzle, if I'm honest. Not such a simple puzzle. Okay, so let's try to understand again. If we're going to take the queen and he's going to take the bishop, we're going to be winning material, no doubt about that. Oh, sorry, okay, I just missed that. Uh, if I'm going to take with the queen, as in going to take with the pawn, check between the rook and the king and we're going to win uh, the exchange okay so basically this that was i was missing uh, okay so yeah this is the move guys and as you see we're playing for a check and you are going to win the exchange okay so that's what i was looking for okay what are we playing for now we are playing for black 
Okay, so as you see, this move is this uh, uh, this is interesting because basically we got a discovery attack. Uh, our queen is on the first rank. We are trying to play for a checkmate, probably, or at least winning some materials. So we can basically go for a double check. Um, if I'm going to play a knight to e2, okay, he's got a check from the knight and the queen. So the only option that he's got is basically to just move his king away. The only square that he's got is going to be g2. The, this is the only square that is not occupied. And then I can give another check from g1. And as you see, um, this bishop and knight are going to block g3. So basically it's going to have uh, one of, the, of those two pawns. Okay. Um, what else do we got in this position? Okay, so check um, king g2 check you can play oh i think i see that okay i think i see it so you can play king f3 then we got the check from the queen and basically we are supported the knight and we are cutting off his king completely there is one thing that i'm missing is check you can go king g2 i can give another check he, he can basically go the other side and then we can still go for it. Okay, so as you see, this is one. This is two supported by the knight and it's important to go for queen g4. Basically, we are cutting off his king completely and we are playing for the mate. Okay, so now I'm going to do uh, one last, one last and uh, the, the, one more and this is going to be it. Okay, so uh, again, if, if you enjoyed or you want me to do some more, please comment. I will be very, very happy to do as you wish. Okay, so uh, what do we got on this position? First of all, we are playing black. I see that this bishop is attacking our queen, is putting some pressure. I see that also our knight is hanging. Uh, I see that we got a pawn on f3. Um, it seems like in this position, which is really, really fun, uh, even if, if you want to take your time, pause the video, this is also a nice moment to do so and try to play for a win. We got a very, very nice attack. Okay, so let me show you the solution, and again, this is going to be the last one. Basically, as you see, the king goes in g1, and let's imagine, okay, just observing the position, that this, this knight is uh, anywhere else on this board. As you see, this pawn and queen are attacking on g2, and this is going to be a mate, okay, supported by this pawn and the queen. So we are playing for the mate. So my question, and also my clue, if you can move this knight with a forcing move like a check, which move is that is going to be? It's going to be knight on e2, a check. Doesn't matter if he's going to sacrifice his queen, his bishop, or move his uh, king regardless of what he's going to play, you're going to play for a win. Okay, so even though if he's going to sacrifice your queen, don't get tempted, play for a win. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Again, thank you for all of your support, and let me know if you enjoyed those puzzles and tactics, and if you have any wish, if you want me to pay, to pay a certain opening, let me know, and see you next time. Thank you.